All right, everybody, let's talk if this, then that for e-commerce when your competitors are producing videos and showing up in the SERP using YouTube. So, uh, you know, here's a query for a very expensive piece of luggage. Um, and, you know, Zappos, great example, um, smart to include their, their video on their landing page. I can only imagine what this does for click-through rate, especially when you combine it with a brand like Zappos. But what I wanna talk about is when a YouTube video shows up, how can you be prepared or automatically know when your competitors are producing videos on a brand that you care about? So you can only imagine that when this shows up here, regardless of what showed up here before, this, had, this did damage to eBags and a lot of other people around the query, around the cert. So basically what I did is I clicked on the video. Here it is, Zappos. Uh, I then click on Zappos gear. I get here, shows me all their videos, right? Um, and then I can uh, subscribe to their, their RSS feed from here, which um, I believe you can do from here. Um, so what I then have is I've got their RSS feed all the way over here to the right. You can see there's a feed link. Um, what I do is I then take and copy this, uh, copy the URL. And now it's time for me to do if this, then that. So what I want to do again is I want to know whenever my competitor is producing videos around a brand that is important to me. Um, and that way I know that there's a chance they may show up in the search results and kind of hurt me on click-through rate. So let's create a recipe. If this, now I, there is a YouTube option, but that's only for your YouTube channel. That's why you often see that I'll, when I do these, I recommend feeds. So I'm gonna say if there's a feed and a new feed item matches. So I'll put the feed URL in and let's say that my, uh, it's Ramoa. So I really am trying to rank well for Ramoa. It's a big brand for me. Um, it, it's important that I get traffic and conversions from it. I wanna know when there's a threat to that. So now I create the trigger. I say, if this, then that. I say, yeah, put it into my Evernote, which is the tool that I'm using. And I can say, you know, create a note, append to an existing note, so that way you can kind of keep it all in one place. Um, those are the two that I usually use the most. Um, if it's an image, I can obviously use an image as well if I was doing something that way. But let's create a new note. And uh, then I'm just gonna let the title uh, basically say uh, Ramoa Review from Zappos. Okay, so that way I know when they're reviewing a product. The body I'm not gonna change. My notebook, I would typically label with my client. Um, so that way, when I do this for multiple clients, I can click on clients um, and sort that way. And I'm also gonna keep my if this then that tag, and then I'm gonna get client, video, competitor, or something like that. Just so that I know across all clients, I can sort by that, um, by that tag. Um, actually, I should probably make them two different tags, client and then video competitor, so I can search for each one. Then I click on create action, and whenever that happens, I am done. I would just say uh, Zappos produces a video for Remoa. Watch out, check the SERP. Kind of thing. So um, hopefully this gives you guys a quick and dirty way um, to once again use if this then that to automate and stay on top of competitors in just one more place that they might be taking your uh, your market share, they might be taking mind share, uh, they might be getting clicks and conversions. The other thing I think this does really well is I have this set up for a client I've been testing with. It also helps you to proactively let your clients know, hey, something's going on over here. We have to invest in video, we have to invest in doing it well, or we're just gonna be sitting on the sidelines watching our market share get eroded day in and day out, which no one wants. So hope that's helpful, guys. Thank you so much, more is coming.